Hello friends, welcome to our channel where we are presenting lessons in mathematics. Uh, in this presentation or in this lesson or in this video, depending on the language, uh, which is the lesson number nine, we are interested in, in applying two concepts. Okay? Concepts um, of differentiation and the integration. How we can marry the two. Okay? If you know how to integrate and you know how to differentiate, there are times where these two can be linked, right, to produce something. What is it that we want to produce? We want to produce an equation of a curve, okay, given the gradient function or the function of a gradient. So you have got a function of a gradient. Now, we want okay, so you can have a gradient of a curve, then you are asked to generate or come up with an equation, all right? Of that curve. Now, if you have the gradient of a curve, okay, in order for you to find the equation of the uh, of the curve, the first thing that you must do is to integrate that gradient function. All right, because the gradient function is coming from a curve, original curve. So when you have a function, a curve, you integrate and come up with what we call a gradient function, a function of a gradient. So we are saying, suppose you have uh, the gradient function, how do I take it to the original function? You integrate. So by integrating, you are reversing, you are going back to the original function. So if you have the gradient of the function, I'll repeat, for you to find the original equation of a curve, you integrate the function, you integrate the gradient d function, or the function of the gradient. Are we together? Then, if I know the limits that are, um, the values that have been given, then you are going to apply as such. Okay? Alright? You are going to apply as the such. Okay? So now, let's look at um, this example. The first one. We say find the equation of a curve if dy dx is equal to that. Okay? If dy dx is equal to that. Okay, so we are saying find the equation of a curve if dy dx is equal to 6x squared minus 4x plus c, 9. Okay. Okay, so to find the equation, like I said earlier on, we are going to integrate this. Okay. So what we are going to do is you integrate here, both sides of the equation. So we are going to integrate here dy dx. Even here, integrate uh, 6x squared minus 4x. I can introduce a 1 because 4x the same as 4x to the power 1 plus 9xc to the power 0. Everything is with respect to x. Alright? So take note 9 the same as 9x to the power 0. Okay? So now, the moment we Introduce the integral symbol here, here you remain with y. Alright? Of course, you don't need to prove that, there is no need. Then we are going to integrate this uh, term by term. So we are going to say this is 6x to the power 3 oh, divided by 3. So we are saying here with the power you, you need to add 1. So we are going to say 2 plus 1 is 3. So we are going to say the power here will have 3, then the denominator here again will be 3. Okay. Minus 4x to the power 2 divided by 2. Right? Uh, plus 90x to the power 1 divided by 1. Because 0 plus 1 is a 1. Okay. Then, because this is the, an indefinite integral, you can see we do not have the limits of integration here. So we are going to insert an arbitrary constant which is at the end there. Alright? So what, what that will mean is that we'll say y is equal to 3 into 6 is 2. x to the power 3. Alright? Minus 2x squared. Alright? Plus 90x plus what? The arbitrary constant. And this becomes the, the equation of the curve 
if I told the gradient function is this. Take note. Why we put this is because we do not know the, the constant that was there. Alright? We do not know the constant that was there. But the that is on the constant that was there. The, this thing would still disappear upon differentiating. Because the moment you differentiate a constant, then you get a zero. So, regardless of the value that was there, the C or the right constant would still disappear upon me differentiating. So, this one becomes the equation of the curve. Alright? If dy dx is zero, now take, take note. At the end here, we said it's C because we do not, uh, do not have the limits of integration. Therefore, means that. This kind of an equation that we have, it's an equation of a curve in general terms. Alright? It's an equation of a, um, of a curve in general terms because this C is not specific. We don't know the value of C. So when, you, when you, um, we do not have the limits of integration, we are saying we are going to have uh, the arbitrary constant. But again, we, we are able to find this. If at all we have been given the values of y and e, eight. Okay, but in this case, we have not been told as to what the value of y is as well as the x. Hence, the equation will be written in general terms. Okay, okay, so take note. Sometimes they will say, find y, given that y dx is equal to this one. By y, you mean, of course, y is a function. Remember, we said y is the same as f of x. This is a function on x. So sometimes they will say, find y. Or find the function. So by function we mean, or I mean the equation. By the equation we mean you are going to get g y e. Okay. So if I thought the values are missing, then you will put a c. If you have been given the values of x and y, then you are going to get a specific e equation. I hope that is clear. Okay. So let's see how we can get the second equation. We are saying the second question. We are saying. The, the, the dragging function of a curve is 3x plus 2. Find the equation of a curve if it passes through the point 0, 0, 2. Okay, let's see how we're going to get that one. Let me erase the board. <coughs> so one find the equation of the curve if the gradient function is 3x plus 2 and that um, that equation is passing through this point. Alright? So by gradient function it simply means take note. The one that is next here, then we will say dy dx. Of course, we are assuming that the, the function at y. Okay? So we will say dy dx is equal to 3xc plus what? 2. Okay? Now, we want the equation passing through at 0, what? 2. That's what we are, we are talking about here. Okay, so now, by creating the first question, you need to integrate both ends. So here you have dy dx is equal to the integral 3x to the power 1, alright, plus 2x to the power 0. Everything is with respect to x, alright? So the moment we integrate here, here we have y, which is equal to 3x to the power 2. 1 plus 1 will be 2. Here again we divide by 2. Alright? Plus uh, 2x to the 1 or the power 1 over 1. Alright? Plus c. Why are we adding c? Because we do not have the limits of integration. Okay? Now, take note that 2x to the power 1 over 1 is the same as 2x to the power 1. Because x to the power 1 is x. So this is what we have. Okay? But now, here we are going to get a specific equation of the curve because we have got these points. This is x and that is y, alright? x and e, y. What is our y? 2. So here where there is e, y will put 2. So we are going to say here 2 is equal to 3, open the brackets, x is 0, divided by what? 2. Plus 2, 0 here. Plus what? C. Alright? Uh, so this is equal to 2 is equal to. Okay. 2 is equal to. Uh, 
Um, this is zero. Zero by three is a, is a zero, all right? So here there will be zero, there there will be zero. So this is equal to star C. Okay, meaning that now, here where there is C here, we put two. And the required equation is going to be, therefore, our equation is going to be y is equal to 3 divided by 2x to the power 2 plus 2x plus plus what is our c? Our c is 2. Okay, this is our equation. This is our equation. So this is our equation. Plus two, maybe let me write it here. Y is equal to three over two x squared plus two x plus c two. Maybe there it going to be very good. Okay, so that is our equation. Okay? So, when you differentiate this one, you, you go to that. Okay? So, now let's deal with the, uh, the second equation, or the last one, which is the equation number three. Okay. So, the second one, we are saying, let's find this in terms of t. Given that s dt is 3t squared minus 4t, at it, um, s is 1 and t is equal to 0. Okay, so, what we are going to do here, by finding S in terms of T, so it means we just want to find S, or we make S receptive to the formula, all right? So now, we have, this is number three, we have D, DS, uh, DT is equal to 3T squared minus 4T, all right? When S is 1 and T is 0. So now we are going to interpret both sides. Okay, maybe I write it here. Ds dt is equal to the integral of 3t squared minus 4t. So here we are going to integrate with respect to t. Okay? So by ds dt it means here we remain with t. Alright, uh, s sorry. So we have s there is equal to um, 3, 3 t to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 4 t to the power 2 divided by 2 because when you add here 1 it will be 3 when you add 1 here, well there is already a 1 here alright, so when you add 1 it will be 2 so we have s that is equal to t to the power 3 minus 2 t squared uh, take note here we need to insert an arbitrary constant because we do not have the limits of integration. Okay, this is not an ordinary C, but an arbitrary constant. Alright? So now we are saying what is our S? Our S is 1. Is equal to our T is 0. Minus 2 plus T. What equals this? Okay, so we are saying this will be 0, 0, then our um, C will be 1. So we are saying, therefore, our C is equal to 1. This implies that the equation now, S, is going to be 3, okay, it's going to be this one here. Uh, so it's going to be T to the power 3. Minus 2t squared plus 1. And this is the original equation. Okay, that is the original equation of that gradient function. Okay, I think that's where we end for this presentation. So if you have enjoyed my presentation, I'd encourage you to subscribe to our channel so that you are able to receive more of such videos. Okay. So I can give you an exercise.